Hey guys, it's Allie with Imperfect Pages, and I thought I would stop in and do my April 2023, not 2023, April 2024 empties and a little bit of a journal update. So first I'll do my empties and then I'll do my journal update. So I'm going to move that other one out of the way here, move the pen I'm currently using out, and if anyone's wondering, this is my bag that I'm reusing from last year. Uh, so it says 2023, even though it's 2024 now. I don't remember if I'd said that in any previous video. So here is what I used this month. I didn't use any pin loops that I can think of. I think I put this pin loop on last month when I started the journal. Oh no, I started that in April, at the beginning of April. So yes, I did use one pin loop this month. I just didn't keep the little tag thingy from it, I guess, or it's floating around somewhere else. I did use sticker flakes, but I didn't put them in the little envelope because I was lazy, so I'll move that out of the way. I used up, I finished up three rolls of washi, and this yellow one I have had since like 2016, and I finally used it up. This one I got last year, or the summer before, it might have been in 2022. And this one I've had for several years, and I used up the last little bit of it, so that was kind of exciting to use up. I finished up two scotch glue sticks. Um, I have mixed feelings on these. They stick wonderfully, but when you glue stuff, it leaves like stringy... Kind of like how hot glue guns leave that like stringy stuff coming off the glue. These do that and I really don't like that. These two Crayola Super Tips are dry. Um, they don't write anymore. So these are used up for this month. And then I used up a ton or at least a fair amount of sticker sheets. This is from the Antiquarian sticker book. These are from a Theater Popper Press, like a, it's like a botanical sticker book. It has like flowers and birds and butterflies. And I really, really love it because you can just rip the sticker sheets out of it and then use them up. This was from a sticker book from Target. It has like cats and space themed stuff. I used up one of these. This had little craft paper labels on them from the dollar store. I finished up one of these sheets. This is part of a sticker wall decal thingy from the Dollar Tree that I used up. And then, oh, here's the backing from the pin loop. So I had the one pin loop and then I just used up a ton of little stickers and the little washi square thingies. Um, these little sticker backings are from my uh, Poppet Pets that I picked up. Uh, the little like Poppet fidget things, they came with little stickers in them. So I used up those and then this was a sticker that it's on the front of my journal. It's a textured like sensory journal sticker. I'll show you guys that. So yeah, those were my empties. Um, I still haven't broke my no new stationery yet, which feels really good. Uh, I'm probably going to have to get glue and tape runners sometime soon, but I still have a little bit left to go that I'm going to try to use up first. Um, so yeah, let's get into the journal update next. This is the star sticker that I was talking about. It's textured, if you can see it. My therapist gave this to me because she knows I like stickers. Uh, and you follow this, like you trace your finger over this, like breathing in and then breathing out. And it's, it's like supposed to help ground you during a panic attack. So I thought that was cool. Um, I don't really have a whole lot new in here. Just a little bit of decorations. This is the little poppet sticker thing that I was talking about. 
And then I have a handful of stickers on the back here. And then I think this journal will carry me through the rest of May. I have about, I have this many pages left. It's about 15-ish pages. And I'm really happy with how, how this journal is turning out. It's nice and chunky. There's a lot of really cool pages in here that I enjoy, like this one. And yeah, I'm really enjoying the composition book. Here's another one. Here's the little craft sticker things that I used up the whole sheet of. But yeah, this will carry me through the end of May and then it'll be time for something new, which is very exciting. So I'm debating between two journals. Uh, let me see if there's any other pages in here that I wanted to show first before I set this one aside. My May cover page. Let me see where it's at here. This. I love how this one turned out. I think it just turned out really, really cute. Um, this was a little clipping from a Costco magazine. Then I used the Crayola markers. This was a piece of a greeting card that I got in some happy mail that I just, the top half of the card was blank, so I just cut it and repurposed it. And then, yeah, I just, I love like pages like this where I got to use watercolor and just it gets that like crinkly texture to it but yeah this this journal has been really good to kind of break me out of my slump that i was in so i am starting to think about my next journal june is my birthday month so i always try to pick out a journal that i know will fit birthday cards in it because i do like to keep my birthday cards at least a handful of them not every single card but these are the two journals that I'm debating between. It's also Pride Month in June, so I'm kind of leaning towards this one, but I also really, really love this yellow color right now. So drop a little comment uh, giving me your thoughts on which one I should pick. This one is blank pages. I have kind of started doodling in it. Uh, like I just added a little pocket and this. I was just trying to feel out the paper to see if I would like it. And I do like it. Uh, this is a, a paper paperage journal from Amazon. It has a little pocket in the back. And then, yeah, I really like this one. It does fit greeting cards in it. So I could use this one. It's a contender. Or I have this one, which is the underlined out of print brand. Out of print brand. It is the uh, Pride Journal. It's from Barnes & Noble. I got it several years ago. And I really like this one. I love the purple edges. The lines are really big though. That's kind of the one thing that's holding me back on committing to this. The lines are really big, so I wouldn't fit as much writing on these pages, but then also maybe I would use it more if I didn't have to write so much to fill a page. I may be more motivated to use it. Um, and it doesn't have a pocket in the back, but that's not a big deal. If I'm getting birthday cards, I can just glue one of the envelopes back here. So those are the two journals I'm debating between for June. I honestly don't know which one I'm going to pick. I probably won't decide until my composition notebook is completely full. And even then, maybe I'll end up picking something else. I, I don't know, but these are what I'm leaning towards. So yeah, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think for these journals, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!